Hello everyone, welcome to Chess Visor, your wise choice to improve your chess. In today's video, I'm going to show you another game from Dubai Open, and it was round number three where uh, uh, Ritvik Raja was paired against uh, Arjun Erigesi. So before we begin this video, if you are watching this channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the future videos. So here Raja was handling white pieces, so he opens the game with one, three, four. So he goes for the English opening. So we have knight f6, knight c3 e5 knight f3 knight c6 and then uh, pawn to e4 we have bishop to b4 d3 and now he closes the pawn structure with the d6 and here uh, Ritvik simply questions the bishop's post and um, arjun simply drops it to c5 so he uh, harasses the bishop again with the b4 and instead of uh, dropping the bishop back to b6 which is the main move but he plays the move bishop to d4 and something he has prepared for the for this game i think so here uh, you cannot take the knight because uh, our knight would come into the center and you have to play moves li like uh, knight e to challenge our knight so that would uh, you know waste some tempos for white so he goes for bishop to d2 uh, to save the knight here so he goes bishop to g4 immediately pinning the knight here and he immediately unpins the knight with the bishop e2 so we have bishop takes f3 bishop takes f3 uh, for the same reason uh, he gives up the bishop here because anytime i can uh, you know put the bishop on uh, sorry uh, put the knight on d4 square to harass the light square bishop that's the point of giving up the bishop here and here uh, arjun plays the interesting move here that is a5 so what's the point of playing a5 is very simple he wants to open the a file here to have an imbalance from the uh, opening itself uh, instead of uh, you know closing down the structure with the b5 that's actually the right way to play the position and uh, if you play b5 here uh, this knight would go to either to e7 or to b8 and uh, from b8 it can go to d7 and then to c5 and uh, i personally prefer d b8 because uh, the c5 square looks good for uh, black's knight but in the game uh, instead of these ideas uh, he goes for rook b1 which is not actually recommended because now he simply opens the a file with a takes b4 a takes b4 and he even plays the move bishop to b6 now so what's the point here it's very simple again as i mentioned here now he, he wants to use the d4 square for his knight so here he simply castles on the king side we have knight to d4 harassing the bishop here so we have bishop e3 challenging the knight and now he simply castles on the king side so here uh, uh, instead of you know uh, the, there are a couple of choices for uh, uh, white here uh, especially king to h1 uh, pawn to g3 even uh, you can take the knight here so he did not go for these lines uh, i would like to mention this line that is g3 here uh, if you if you push the pawn to g3 then we have knight takes f3 check followed by queen takes f3 rook a3 rook fc1 and uh, the game is equal in fact uh, black is slightly better because he has the open file to work with so instead of that move he plays uh, uh, knight e2 that allows uh, arjun to immediately double his f pawn here so knight takes f3 and now g takes f3 there is a double pawn on f file and also an isolated pawn on h file that's a, uh, it's a long time weakness actually you cannot uh, do anything about this uh, from now so after g takes f3 uh, his, his idea is very simple i think he wants to put the king on corner and uh, he, he wants to utilize the g file by uh, rook so uh, sensing these ideas okay let me uh, let me see what you are going to do so he simply captures the uh, bishop here and uh, uh, uh these pawns which is there on uh, f and uh, f e file and uh, d file they look good at first sight but actually they, they these are all the uh, weak pawns for white actually uh, it 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 should be defended by the pieces because it's moved from the second rank and it's very difficult to defend it uh, and he will be able to you know easily attack these weaknesses so here uh, he wants to improve his piece position so he goes knight h5 now so idea is very simple he opens the diagonal for the queen so that uh, we can uh, you know fork this undefended guy so in sensing this idea he plays the move queen to d2 instead of that he could have gone uh, king h1 also if you play king h1 then we can play queen h6 sorry excuse me queen f6 so knight c3 c6 and now even uh, b5 is possible for white and uh, uh, white can simply try to hold this position but uh, black is kind of better here so instead of that move he played a uh, queen to d2 directly defending e3 uh, what's the difference between two moves is very very simple because uh, king h1 will allow the rook to grab the g file to work with 
but going to d2 okay it simply connects the rook but still you need another tempo to put the rook on g5 that's the point of uh, playing king h1 rather than playing queen to d2 so here he plays the move pawn to f5 he wants to involve every other piece into the game already the queen uh, has the scope of this diagonal on the king side and now he wants to you know open this f file to utilize his f rook so for this move uh, he could have uh, simply captured this pawn because uh, uh, after capturing this we can have a rook takes f5 but still it's a, it's an equal kind of an equal game and now there is a no double pawn on the uh, f file now no more and the double pawn was there on e file now right so now it's it's been liquidated so but the problem is in the game he did not capture that rather than he played a uh, this move that is f4 and that allows Arjun to capture towards the center uh, f takes e4 and now uh, Arjun has a beautiful idea here uh, he can even play uh, moves like queen to h4 but he did not uh, play in the game so queen h4 f takes e5 queen g4 check and after this king h1 we can even pick up the pawn with the check and after king g1 we can even play queen takes e5 this uh, this ending looks good for uh, uh, black actually so instead of that move arjun simply plays queen to e8 and he wants to uh, go to g6 to check and pick up the pawn but sensing this idea he plays knight to g3 uh, defending both the ideas so we have knight takes g3 h takes g3 and now he plays the move queen to g6 so here uh, uh, the better way to handle this position is to keep the queen on the king side to defend everything like queen to g2 we may have uh, e takes f4 e takes f4 uh, considering this pawn structure i think uh, uh, white has a weak pawn structure comparing black and uh, black would use his a file to work with again even if you push the uh, rook to a3 and it, it can be easily challenged with the f rook but uh, uh, white could have uh, you know stayed in the game but in the game he played queen to d5 check it's kind of um, defending the pawn and once uh, he moves the king to h8 and he plays rook f3 uh, defending g3 like this but now these both the rooks are undefended so he gains one tempo with queen g4 and now we have rook bf1 and with this move uh, he plays pawn to h5 so trying to create some escape square for the king at one point of time uh, we can even push the pawn to h4 to challenge this pawn so he plays queen to d1 and now we have e takes f4 e takes f4 and now finally rook to a2 so white needs to be very very careful here because uh, the rook is already in the second rank so here uh, he plays the move rook to d3 so queen h3 by uh, arjun and he simply threatening mate in one so here uh, instead of this move if you are wondering about uh, nobody wants to exchange the queen uh, when you are uh, when you are better actually so it's uh, it's a equal game now so don't uh, you don't exchange the queen here rather than that he you should play this move queen h3 threatening mate in one so he blacks the rook with the rook f2 and we have rook f a8 so doubling on the f a file so here he plays the move pawn to g4 and that allows uh, arjun to finish the game instantly so instead of that move he could have tried uh, queen to f3 uh, to defend further from here uh, uh, black could have gone a rook a1 check rook d1 rook takes d1 check queen takes d1 and rook a3 and now uh, rook to g2 rook takes g3 but still uh, black is winning in this line also but in the game he played pawn to g4 that allows him to play the move queen to h4 now he actually threatening mate in two so every move is coming with a big bigger threat now so rook takes a2 and rook takes a2 again the same story uh, th threatening mate in two moves so it should be blacked right so he plays the move rook to d2 but that allows you know arjun to finish the game with one move that is queen to g3 and this was the position where uh, uh, raja ritwik simply resigns the game it's because you have only three choices here by force uh, either you have to block with the rook that's actually uh, made in one so nobody is going to do that and if you move the uh, king to either one of the squares that is king h1 king f1 in both cases I'm, I'm going to show you only one variation here that is king h1 we can simply give this check and of king h3 you can again uh, force the king to g file right so queen e3 check will pick up the rook with the forcing moves so king h1 and we can even pick up the uh, uh, e4 pawn with the check again uh, you can go uh, and touch at the white king and again pick up the uh, rook here and considering all of these ideas when uh, arjun plays this queen g3 check and he simply resigns so what do you think about this uh, game and uh, let me know your ideas thoughts suggestions in the comment section below 
uh, and if you like my commentary please do like this video and uh, don't forget to share with others and still if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel chessvisor please consider subscribing to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the future videos as usual this is chessvisor your wise choice to improve your chess